Hi again. As we saw in our series resistance project, if we put several resistors in series, those resistors will act as a single equivalent resistance whose resistance is the sum of the individual resistances in the series combination. Another property of series resistors is that the voltage difference across the resistors is divided among the individual resistors. This is the source of the so-called voltage divider formula. Voltage dividers have a number of applications. They can simplify the analysis of circuits, and they also provide a powerful tool for design of useful circuits. Before we do some applications, let's review the voltage divider formula. Suppose, for example, that we have a series combination of N resistors, R1, R2, and so on, up to R sub N. These elements are all in series because they all have the same current. We're interested in finding the voltage difference, V sub K, across the kth resistance, R sub K. The voltage drop, V sub K, is just the total voltage, V sub S, multiplied by the kth resistance and divided by the sum of all the resistors in the series combination. The first thing we'll do in this video is simply to make a measurement to verify that the voltage divider formula works. The circuit we'll use is shown here. We have a voltage source of 5 volts applied across a series combination of a 1 kilo ohm and a 2.2 kilo ohm resistor. We're going to measure the voltage across the 2.2 kilo ohm resistor. Our voltage divider formula says that this measured voltage should be 5 volts times 2.2 kilo ohms divided by the sum of 1 kilo ohm and 2.2 kilo ohms. This turns out to be 3.44 volts. Now let's wire up the circuit and see how the measured response compared with our expectations. Here's our circuit. This is our 2.2 kilo ohm resistor. This is the 1 kilo ohm resistor. We're using the analog discoveries V plus voltage supply to apply 5 volts across these two terminals. Our DMM is being used to measure the voltage across the 2.2 kilo ohm resistor. Now let's turn on power. And our measured voltage is actually 3.2. 445 volts, close enough to our expectations as to make no difference. Verifying the voltage divider formula is nice. It gives us a warm feeling about using the formula in analysis. But how would we use the concept of a voltage divider in a design? Our next experiment will give a quick application of how it may come in handy. In our application, we have access to a particular voltage source, a battery, for a circuit we want to build. However, the voltage we actually want to use in our circuit, for whatever reason, is different from the battery voltage we have access to. As a specific example, suppose we have a 9-volt battery, but the circuit that we're designing requires 6 volts to work. We have to somehow convert our available 9 volts to the 6 volts we need. Here's one possible way we might solve our problem by using a voltage divider. If we have two resistors, one with a resistance of R and the other with a resistance of 2R, the voltage across the second resistance will be two-thirds of the total voltage applied to the series combination. So if we apply 9 volts across this set of resistors, we'll get 6 volts across the second resistance. There's really nothing in our design criteria that specifies what R should be, so we can choose it arbitrarily. The only thing that's important is the ratio between the two resistors. I'll set R to be 10 kilo ohms, so that 2R is now 20 kilo ohms. Let's wire up the circuit and see if it does what we want it to do. Here's our circuit. This is my 10 kilo ohm resistor. This is my 20 kilo ohm resistor. I'm using this nominal 9 volt battery to apply what should be 9 volts across these two terminals. If I measure the voltage across my 20 kilo ohm resistor, I actually end up with something a little higher than what I want, about 6.4 volts. The problem is probably due to this battery. Let's check the voltage that the battery is actually providing. It's giving me more, considerably more, than 9 volts of difference, about 9.7 volts. 